all right, let's see. So we got this uh, this Grotner servo, and I'm gonna we're gonna see the uh, <clears throat> right there the the uh, round horn. I'm gonna see if we can't turn it into something like this. It sits on top of this ser this the same servo. Um, and if you can see, there's a groove cut into the side of that to hold a pull string for a DLG. Um, that's like a pulley. So I'll show you how I do it. Okay. So here's the servo. Um, round horn or connector. I want to cut it uh, down to about that size. Uh, and then put a groove for a pulley um, in this area right here. <clears throat> and this is a wood lathe. It's not a not a real. Uh, it's not a metal lathe or probably anything that uh, a person would typically have. But I like to turn wood. <clears throat> so I have a live center here, and I'll put the hub uh, up against the the live center, and then I turn this little piece of wood to uses a jam chuck and it jams in there nice and tight there it is being held <clears throat> and then we turn it on and it's more of a scraping action than, that, than an actual wood turning uh, I'm using uh, a skew chisel and I'm just going to need a little more jam. Uh, I'm just going to jab this uh, center, this, this end of the uh, skew in to make, are we, uh, let's see, okay, we focused, all right, let's try this. And then to finish it, I have a wire. Uh, I use it to burn to burnish wood, wood um, things. But if I set it in that groove and hold it down, it should deepen it and smooth it out. what it looks like. Okay, there's a groove in there. I don't know if you can see it, how well you can see it. It's a little deeper than it looks on the screen, anyway, on this camera. Uh, so here it is. Um, I, I don't know. You, I think you can see how there's a pulley, you know, there's a groove on this outside edge right here for the string. 
<clears throat> I've marked it uh, where I'm going to remove the material right here, and I'll just use a Dremel to remove that. Then what I'll do uh, for the string is right here, I'll drill a uh, 047 hole, because that's the drill bit I have in my drill right now. I'll drill a hole through here, and then uh, I have a little pin drill. Where is it? Uh, <clears throat> and it's a much smaller bit. I don't I'm not sure what size it is um, But I'll drill through here through there like that So I'll bring the I'll bring the wire or the string around this way through that hole Then through the top through this hole that I'm gonna drill and then I'll just wrap it around the screw and, and tighten it down um, We'll see how it turns out all right, <clears throat> so there it is, the servo is installed. Um, they turn, I don't know if you can see that. Let's... And then the tail, uh, let's see if you can see the tail moving. So, anyway, maybe I'll try it. We'll see.